If you're tired of boring ukulele rhythms, it could be time to switch things up and add some excitement with syncopation. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to break free from predictability and master five techniques to become a syncopation sensation. This video accompanies my article in Uke magazine, which you can buy in print or digital formats from worldofukes.co.uk. So what is syncopation? Simply put, syncopation adds rhythmic interest by shining the spotlight on weak beats and drawing the attention away from stronger beats, creating more complex rhythms. The convention is that the strongest beat of the bar is the first beat or downbeat. In 4-4 time signature, the third beat is also quite strong. This makes the second and fourth beats of the bar weak beats known as backbeats. When we start subdividing the beats into, for example, quavers and semiquavers, these are even weaker. So quavers are weaker than crotchet beats on the tune 4 and semiquavers are weaker than the quaver beats. Now we know about strong and weak beats, we know where we can place emphasis to create syncopation. Here are five ways you can use that knowledge to apply syncopation in your own playing, including a bonus tip that isn't included in the magazine, so make sure you watch till the end. Number 1. Syncopation using accents. With accents, we strum or pluck with more force on weak beats. We can also play more strings simultaneously in order to create an accent. Accent marks in notation, which look like a greater than sign, show when to do this. Here is an example of syncopation using accents, and you'll see those accented beats highlighted in purple. In the following examples, I will be holding down a C chord for simplicity's sake. If you want your own copy of the tablature, you can download a PDF from my Patreon page. Number 2. Syncopation using missed beats. Omitting strong beats emphasises the weaker beats. On the ukulele, this can be done by stopping the strings with the right hand, and this is shown with rests in sheet music. Or we can use a muted percussive strum, which is represented by X's in the notation. Here is an example of syncopation using missed beats. Number 3. Syncopation using suspension. Hiding strong beats by holding previous notes longer creates the illusion of an early beat. On the uke, this is done by letting the weak beat note or chord ring longer over the following strong beat. Sheet music uses ties to show when to hold the notes longer, connecting two notes together to indicate combined length. Here is an example of syncopation using suspension, with suspended notes marked in purple. Notice that I have also highlighted the second beat of the second bar because it sustains over the stronger third beat. Number 4. Syncopation using displaced beats, or offbeat syncopation. Offbeat syncopation places notes between strong beats, often displacing the rhythm by half a beat, or a quaver. When playing this on the ukulele, paying attention to note placement and counting beats is important. Standard note values are used with no special markings, and can be combined with tied notes, or suspension. Here is an example of a strummed offbeat pattern with offbeats marked in purple. Before I reveal my bonus tip, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more ukulele related content, please subscribe to my channel. Now, number five, our bonus tip is syncopation using unexpected chord changes. Typically, we change chords on the first beat of the bar or sometimes in the middle of the bar, which is the third beat in 4-4 four, four time. 
But what about changing chords on the second beat, fourth beat, or even on an off beat? Doing this in your own songs can create excitement and anticipation, whilst giving that syncopated feel. Here is an example using the chords of C, A minor, F and G. First I will play a typical non-syncopated progression, then using the chords in the same order I will change where the chords come in, so you can hear how syncopation gives it more interest. Non-syncopated chord changes. Syncopated chord changes. I hope I've whetted your appetite for syncopation in this introduction. Let me know in the comments what other music theory related topics you would like to learn more about. And if you want to learn a piece of music that uses the techniques you just learned about, you're going to want to watch this next video.